started karate when I was 13, when I, um, I was just taken to a karate dojo by an uncle. Within a year, I won a first national karate championship. I had a karate career for 12, 13 years. Then I boxed professionally for six years. Then my first daughter was born. So I decided that I'd had enough of combat because I was a new father and that lasted about a year before I got bored. And then I decided I wanted a new challenge. So I decided on an MMA career. Join the Wolf Slayer, World Renowned MMA gym. Just to keep myself occupied really. I had no intention of fighting again, but I was good at that also. So then I decided I was going to have a career in MMA. I was quite good at, at martial arts. I was, a, I, was a, I was a tough competitor and I was good at what I did. But I wanted fame and fortune for what I was doing. And you don't get that with karate. So I decided on boxing. Some, some thought foolishly at the time because I'd never had an amateur boxing career. I didn't know how to box fundamentally. So I was taking my karate experience as a competitor into a boxing ring. It didn't really work that well at first. I lost the first two fights and then something clicked. I started to win. And then I went on a 10 fight win streak. And within two years of starting as a professional boxer, I was fighting live on Sky for the British and Commonwealth title. Formerly, people had, had sort of laughed me out the gym and thought I was, a, I was a dreamer. So I was quite proud of that, because I sort of proved myself in terms of what I wanted to prove as, as a fighter. It was mine. For a short time, I was, I was without a home. In terms of, I wasn't sleeping homeless on the streets, but I was without a, without a base and I was dependent on other people for the while. Uh, well, that's, not, that's not my story, that's just part of a 30 year yeah. experience that I had. But I was also carrying on my fight career at the same time. On average, working 60 to 80 hours a week. I was working on doors, security. I was working in a homeless hostel. I had a martial arts club that I was running. I had a new child on the way, but I hadn't stopped my career by then. And then on top of that, I had a full time my career. So I was training the same level and the same time commitment as a professional full-time fighter. It was a, a very fulfilling time because it taught me a lot about myself, it taught me a lot about my own depth as a person. Now it's now it's a great benefit to me. At the time it wasn't, but now it is. So I don't look back on that with any with, with any any sadness or any upset. It was just an experience in my life that I'm, I'm actually glad happened. I became a trainer because I was working in a homeless service for 20 years in the pool. It was a job that I loved for the time that I did it, but it came to a crunch where I was depleted from doing that type of way. It was taken away from me, taken away from the energy that I was um, taking home to my family, to the children. We've seen a lot of dark stuff uh, and hearing a lot of dark stories, so there's no doubt it's going to rub off me. I just had enough of that. So I decided after winning a world title in boxing, I was going to use that platform to be able to become a full-time coach. So that's what I'm doing now and I'm loving it. Every day is an enjoyment. Every hour that I spend with new clients is fun and engaging. I'm doing the same type of work. I'm uplifting people, but I'm doing it in a way that's more positive, I suppose. I've got an unfinished goal. So I was ranked top 10 in the MMA UK fight world. Four for titles, didn't win them. I want to go back and win a world title in MMA. That's the plan. I've got a coach in next generation, Paul Remmer, who believes in me. There's, there's slight chinks in my armour when it comes to grappling. I'm a, a world-class striker, but there's the chinks in, in my armour come when it comes to grappling, which is the, the ground elements of ever. Time allowing, support allowing, but I'll be the first man in history to win world honours in three different combat disciplines.